Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I just sat down with a nice glass of wine thinking I was going to stream some Halo Infinite. I've been on vacation, I haven't really been on the internet or anything like that, and I sit down at my computer and I just say, hey, let me just see if there's been any Halo Infinite news while I've been gone. I type it in on Google... The number one article that comes up is from an hour ago, saying Halo Infinite will have to face the Reaper sooner or later. With the subtitle, Halo Infinite has struggled to captivate its audience since launch, and it may be finally time for Microsoft to pull the plug after two years. Now, my immediate reaction to that is like, what the heck? Like, it's super strange to me. Like, yeah, pretty much every game has to face the Reaper sooner or later. There's They have a shelf life. And even then, we just had this huge... You know, all the Call of Duty games and Gears of War games, have, they're having their servers fixed and people are playing Modern Warfare 2, like the OG Modern Warfare 2 in 2023 now. So it's like kind of weird that this article was even like they thought this was a good idea. And yes, I understand that it's probably for clicks and like, you know, it's an easy thing to get clicks out of because it's Halo Infinite. It's not really a hot take. It's weird because like... Somebody who's been playing Halo Infinite for the past two years, um, you know, I understand that there's not a huge audience in terms of, like, PC. But we've been seeing, like, the numbers from Halo.API saying, I like, I don't quote me. I know it was at least, like, 25k, but, like, that's not really something to shake a stick at, in my opinion. Like, that's not a dead game. <laughs> and with all the updates and you know, all the changing of leadership. It's just been, like, to me, it's just a weird article. But I kind of want to react to it, kind of want to go over it with you all. I definitely want to know in the comments down below, literally right now, go to the comments down below. Give me your immediate response to this. Do you think it's just for clicks? Do you think it's, you know, a plausible article? I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it can be plausible, but it's just like, it's just weird. I will also link the article down below. You guys can go give them a few, like, 25 cents or whatever it is for somebody to click on an article link. Anyways, it goes over, like, highlights, and it says, Halo Infinite's post-launch support has been lacking with controversial decisions and a disappointing seasonal structure causing active players to lose interest. I understand that. Like, the immediate release of the game, it was such a high, and then there was just, it just didn't have all those things that really keeps people playing. The game's lack of substantial content and failure to address fan complaints has led to a decline in player numbers, with Halo Infinite losing around 98% of its player base on Steam alone. Man, how many times have we heard that? Ha 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 ha. With the upcoming seasons potentially following the same pattern, it is likely that the remaining players will be pushed towards abandoning the game, suggesting that Halo Infinite's days may be numbered. It's just like, we, I, I don't know. Like, do I think Halo Infinite's going to be that 10-year game? Probably not. No, I don't think that they're going to make that 10-year platform thing that they promised or wanted to do. I don't see that happening, but... And, like, the rest of the article was just, like, saying things that like it's like beating a dead horse no secret that halo infinite has a bit of a rough life but 343 has continued trekking along with new content even though you just complained that there was no new content the game's fourth season is well underway with a brand new battle pass new maps new mode multiple new features you know something as big as career progression has finally been put in the game infection and stuff like that all these things that people have asked for which is weird because it's like talking about you know they don't listen to fan feedback it says that you know other players aren't excited about halo infinite and the players can continue to drop which is i think untrue right now the content is just not there and halo infinite days may be numbered they talk about how it had a strong launch blah 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 and it just says the game is very disappointing and while they say the studio has not announced anything yet, it may soon be time for Microsoft to finally pull the plug. Finally? Ugh. And while I do agree that, like, the launch of the game in that six-month season and, like, it, it was not good. Like, there was a reason a lot of people quit playing. It's just because there was nothing, you know, there was no reward. Like, people have been conditioned now with live service games to expect almost, you know, like, unattainable things, especially in the live service aspect so like yeah people were upset they say that halo infinite has not gotten a meaningful amount of quality content to survive and i like kind of disagree with that you know like i look at how many maps they add a season and then i look at something like destiny 2 where they went like f three years without a multiplayer map it's just i don't know i just feel like it's super easy for people to dunk on halo and get you know views and whatnot and then they talk about the 98 percent of its player base on steam 
again, and saying that Xbox is likely similar, which, like, bro, you, if you don't have the statistics, why even say that? They finally end with the fifth season is coming up sometime in October, and that will likely be the final straw for the remaining players. It says the studio is looking into the future of Halo, which means Halo Infinite has an end date. So yeah, it's just like a weird article to me, and it's just something I kind of wanted to rant and react to. Especially like being somebody who plays the game and makes content on it. You know, like I've seen and heard everything at this point about Halo. And it is easy to dwell on negatives and like people, you know, I have people call me a shill and then I have people say that I'm like too hard on the game and whatnot. So I feel like I'm really straddling a good line with my feedback and my opinions and my critiques and stuff like that. Because like while I do think that there have been missteps with Halo for the past couple of years, I still enjoy playing the game and I feel like Halo Infinite is a good game. Like it has so many things that I enjoy about Halo in the game. And I am looking forward to the next season. I think that we're going to get a lot of cool stuff. But it's like reading this, it's like, I don't know. Like, do people, I just feel like they want a completely different game at this point instead of, you know, fixing what we have or, you know, like, oh, let's wait another five years for the next Halo game and just not do anything with Halo. I don't know. Like, there are so many pros and cons to everything in life that it's hard to just like, I don't know. It's frustrating and it's exhausting, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoy Halo and you like somebody that doesn't cry, complain all the time, and somebody who provides, you know, critiques when necessary, go ahead and give a sub to the channel. We're grinding away to 15k, and I would love to hit that by the end of this year. If you enjoyed this video or if you hated it, leave a like down below, and I will catch you around the ring.